On this post, I'm going to take you through the nine most important punches in boxing. I'm going to tell you what they are, I'm going to show you how we do them, and I'm going to show you any variations of them punches, if there is any variations. So, start off with the first punch, the most important punch in boxing. The jab, the straight left hand. If you're a southpaw, you're a straight right hand. This is used to find the range in a fight. You know, find the range, setting up the big right hand, or whatever other punch you're going to throw off that. And there's a few ways of throwing the jab, and I'm going to take you through them. The first jab is the speed jab, where we're not stepping in with it, it's just going to be a speed jab. This jab here, this jab is great for finding the range, but as well for straightening your opponent. If you've been in with a fighter who's got a great jab, and they keep pinging you with that, it might not be hard, but it really frustrates, frustrates you. So the next variation of it is the stepping with the jab. This is going to get power into the punch. If you step with the jab, you can see the power there. It's important when I do this, I land on my toe. So I'm not stepping and land on me here, I land on my toe. Again. That's the power jab. So the next punch is the power shot, the number two, the straight right hand. If you're a southpaw, you're a left hand. So I'm going to show you how we throw this shot. When you are throwing this punch, you've got to turn your hips and transfer your weight to your front foot. This is why, and this is how you get power in the punch. By transferring your weight, by turning your hips. So when I say transfer your weight, I'm not transferring my weight like this. I'm keeping my head back. If there was a line there, my head's keeping back, but I'm turning my hips. And if we turn on my hips and bring me back here off the ground, this puts the weight under my front leg to get that power in the punch. So here. And you can hear and see that is the power punch. And with this, you've got to fully extend the arm. You've got to be relaxed, relax in the shoulders, fully extend the arm, make sure you've got a tight fist and exhale when you throw it. That's number two. This punch, the hook, it's probably one of the most awkward punches to throw. How I'm going to throw that? It's good to throw it off a of straight right hand, because that puts you in the perfect position to throw that hook with the weight transfer. If I, if I throw a straight right hand, transferring the weight on my front foot, see my back heel's off the ground there, and all I'm going to do is drop the back heel, bring the front heel off the ground, and transfer the weight back. And now this weight transfer gets the power in the punch. So, watch. There. Or, if I don't have to throw the right hand, I could have done a slip. If I've slipped, slipped the punch, put me in the perfect position to drop that back heel, throw the hook. Now I'm going to show you how I'm getting lots of power in with the, with the weight transfer. So if I'm just relaxed, look, this is not how to throw a hook, but I want to show you. Just with this turn here, you can see I'm getting loads of power in the punch because I'm transferring the weight. Hands up, slip, that's the hook. So this punch is a power punch, it's the rear hook. Hard punch to land, but it's a great shot to use to set up other punches. So the rear hook, the right hook, the south pause, left hook. How am I going to throw that? I'm going to turn my hips. Just kind of like the straight right hand, but I'm going around. So I'm here. And what this is great for is if I'm, if I'm fighting an opponent whose hands are tight like this, I want to get around the side of his hands, get around the side of his guard. So I'm here, I'm here. You can set it up with the jab, so you can step with the jab, then throw it, you get even more power. Like this. And as well, if I hit an opponent with the jab hook, hook there, his hands are going to come up, which is going to leave him up and downstairs for a body shot. So it's a great setup shot for this one. So it's a great combination. Jab right hook, hook. Great combo. The right hook. Give it a go. The next punch is my most favourite shot of them all, the left hook of the body. I used to spend rounds upon rounds of just practising this hook at the end of every session. The left hook to the body. Kind of like the left hook to the head, but now you're going to dip and then throw. And with this, like, if you visualise, he threw a right hand at me, I've slipped that right hand, put him up, he's open here for the... Now that's one way of throwing it. The other way of throwing it is removing that slip, removing that, and just throwing it from here. And with that, you can get enough power in it to hurt someone. So you could be touching upstairs, could to touch upstairs, waiting for him to lift his hands. As soon as he lifts his hands, throw that left of the body. Doing some damage there, doing some serious damage. So this punch is the right hook to the body. If you showed you the left hook, now the right hook. Now if you think I'm fighting an opponent who's got his hands up high here, or I'm punching him to get him to raise his hands, to open them up for that gap down there. So I'm punching them up here. Stepping in. 
turning my hip, getting that power in the punch. And this can be another setup shot. Doesn't even have to be hard, you can do it. Through that body shot to open for the head. Because if I throw that down there, his arm's gonna come down, boom, straight ahead. Again, a little bit of speed. So I'm touching, touching, touching. Touching the body, whack them with the head. Great shot. This next punch is the jab to the body. It can be a very effective shot. This is something that Floyd Weaver used to do. They're probably the best at. He would be up here, he'd be up here, jabbing, jabbing, jabbing. Then you just step and throw that jab to the body. So with this, if you're stepping, you can get power into the punch. So you're touching upstairs, touching upstairs. Dropping, throw that jab to the body. You can throw it, if he's throw a jab at me, it would slip and drop and throw it there. So I've slipped and dropped. He's jabbing over, over my head. I'm jabbing to the body. I'm stepping to get the weight behind the punch. There. Or, kind of where we're following the other he would just be a, a he wouldn't even dip. He would just throw that punch. He wouldn't even dip. Next punch is the straight right hand of the body. This is a great punch. If you've ever been hit with a straight right hand of the body, especially up here in the solar plexus, you know, it, it's not very nice. Not very nice at all. So with that, you've got to try and think. You've got to get through the guard. I love throwing this shot after a lead left hook. Because if I throw the lead left hook, his, his hand's going to come up, which leaves him open here. So this one, I'm here. Step with the lead left hook, bang, get that right hand in. You can generate a lot of power in that punch. When I'm stepping, I'm getting the, the momentum of my body weight into the punch. So I'm stepping. This is just a touch to get him to, his hands to move. Boom, whack him with that body. This next punch is the rear uppercut. And we can throw these at three different ranges. We've got the short range, we've got the mid range, and we've got the long range. And depending on where you are in the fight, that's where you want to throw that punch. I wouldn't throw a short range uppercut if my opponent was out of range. I will wait until I'm up inside, until we're up inside, and throw from there. And then the mid range uppercut is kind of like if my opponent is coming forward with his head with his head down, the mid range uppercut's great for that. I'll show you in the back. So I'm there. And then we've got the long range uppercut, which is a hard shot to land. The way we throw that is if, you, if your opponent's out of range, you're keeping it long, you're keeping it long. Super hard points to land. Make sure a couple of things when you're throwing the uppercuts. We don't throw it back at our face, punch ourselves in the face. You don't want to punch across there. So I punch across there, the power's went up there. You want to punch straight up, straight through the middle. There. 